Hello everyone, my name is Titanic Hunter, and welcome to the Okami Squadron channel. Today we're going to be talking about confirm panels. These are going to be made with command panels. These will allow you to confirm any sort of input that you're doing, or if you're trying to confirm you want to run a command or purchase something for a certain amount of money, you can use this sort of system to do that. There will be a click to confirm and a click to cancel, so if they don't want to, they can cancel it, and if they do, they can confirm it, and it'll run whenever they need to. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please consider leaving a like. Consider subscribing for any of my future videos. Hopefully you're all having a great day and let's get on and do it. So to start, I have just created two items inside of here. One's for confirming, one's for canceling. And then the panel is set up to use the command confirm to open and it's all just set up like that. So now we got to figure out what we want to do. And for this, I am just going to set up a command to do say hi or something like that, but it'll require them to confirm first and then it'll actually run it. For this, I'm going to create another item. And this one I'm going to put in the middle of the panel. I'm going to have it only show up when they are first starting. After that, they'll have to confirm to get it to actually run. So for this, I'm going to put it in the middle, which is going to be four. Material, I'm just going to do stone. Name, I'm just going to do say hi. And what we're going to do is for the commands, we're going to do a placeholder of confirm and the value is going to be true actually we'll just say yes that and then we're going to put it in brackets just so nothing breaks this is going to make a placeholder that is cp confirm yes and well cp confirm and the value will be yes and then what we want to do is make a has section for this these were recently updated. I will leave a card in the top right for you to be able to follow along with these. It'll be a video on how to do the new version. And if you want to find the old version, it is in my videos and you can find it. But since we're using above 3.17.0.0, I'm going to be using the new has section since it is a little bit better, but is a little bit more confusing for people who have not used it before. For this, I'm going to do value zero. And for this, we are going to do CP confirm. And if the compare is yes, then we're going to show nothing. So and F and for the material, we're just going to make it air. Actually, we'll do black stained glass since that is the default, just like that. So once they press this, it'll then make that disappear and it'll run the confirm. So we're going to do dash refresh just so it force refreshes. And then we're going to do the same has section inside of these, just like that. And for the names, we're going to swap them to show the items we have set. So these will only show up once the confirm has started. So we're just going to copy the black stained glass pane and put it inside of these. Just like that and then name of and f to make it not show up and then we'll copy and paste it into the next one same thing replace them and f and then black stained glass pane just like that and then inside of the cancel all we're going to do is commands dash CPC and then we're going to do open equals confirm. What this is going to do is it's pretty much just going to close the panel and then reopen it, which will cause the placeholder to not be set anymore. So that's only if you're canceling. And then for when you are confirming, we're just going to run the command of console to say hi, just like that. So again, going over this, once you click the stone, it is going to set a placeholder to say yes. If that placeholder says yes, it'll then make the item we clicked disappear and it'll bring up the confirm and cancel options. And then if you click confirm, it'll run the command. If you click cancel, it'll close and reopen just so it gets rid of that placeholder. So now if we go in game and test, it should work perfectly fine. Remember to do slash CPR. And then if I do confirm, you can see the other items are not here, but the say hi is. So now if we click it, you'll see it disappears and it says click to cancel, click to confirm. 
you can add more information to these saying like, are you sure you want to do this? Or are you sure you want to do that? And then when you click it, you'll see it says hi. And if we cancel, it closes and restarts. So that's how you can do a super basic confirm inside of the same panel. Now we're going to move on if you want to actually make it so it comes up with a separate panel with the prompt and then if they click it it'll run the command so for this we're gonna to have to make a separate panel that's going to pretty much be the same as the same as this so i'm just going to leave the confirm one here and i'm going to leave it the same and we're going to get rid of the command for it because we're not going to need it and then we're going to get rid of the stone so we will come back to this in a second but now we're going to go make a separate panel so i'm just going to copy and paste this and we're going to do command And we're just going to change this to be a little bit different. So now I'm going to make one of the items do something. So for this, get rid of all this different stuff. I'm going to do a stone again. And we're going to do click to run, say hi. And then for the commands, this is where it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to do open equals confirm, which is the other panel. And then we're going to send some placeholders. So these placeholders will be created when you open it and inside the other panel, you'll be able to use them. So the first one, we're going to do command. And what we're going to do for this is we're going to do console equals. I don't know if this will work or not. We'll try it. So. To actually get this to work, you're going to want to get rid of the console equals for the command and just put the command you want. So now that we have that, we are going to want to set up the confirm panel to use that placeholder. So if we go back to the confirm panel and what we can do is now move all this stuff back since this will come up automatically. We don't need to actually check if there's something set to it. Just like that. Now we have the basics. Click to confirm command. And then we're going to do click to cancel command. And what I'm actually also going to do is pass another placeholder. And this one is going to be last panel. And then we're just going to do the com uh, panel name, which is command just like that. So what this is going to do is it's going to pass another placeholder. This one's just going to be for the current panel that is open. So if we cancel, it can come back to this one rather than just closing. And then I'll also make it so you can use this for multiple different panels. So if you want to confirm in different sections or different panels, they'll all go back to the other one. So for this, we're going to do commands and to confirm, we are now going to do CP command just like that. And then for this one, we're going to do commands, we're going to do CPC and then open equals last panel. And we have to actually make this the placeholder. So we'll do CP dash just like that. So every time you make a placeholder, when you're actually doing it in here, it's just the word that you want the placeholder to be and the value you're setting to it. But when you're using it, you have to use the actual placeholder and the CP dash. And then we're going to add some lore to this just to show what you're doing. So we'll do command and then we'll do cp command just like that and then we'll copy this to the other one as well just so you know what the command is before actually running it or anything like that and then after you run the command i'm actually just going to add another cpc to close it so now that should work so if we go in game and test this slash cpr and now if we do slash command which opens up this panel you can see it says click to run say hi once we click this nothing happens interesting so in console, I got a massive error. So what you're going to want to do is inside of the confirm, you're going to want to actually case these inside of your quotes because when you're running a command, it's checking to see if this is a string or anything like that. And this percent kind of screws it up. So make sure you actually quote it. So that's CPR. Now we try it and then we click. You'll see it says command console equals say hi, click to confirm and it says command say hi, cancel. So if we cancel, it brings us right back to the other one. And if we open this one, now if we click it, it should run the command. It then runs the command. So that is how you can set up confirms to make sure you want to do a certain thing. You can set it up so it takes the item afterwards or anything like that. 
so you can make it so you can confirm or deny whatever you're trying to do allowing players to not automatically do something that they did not want to hopefully you guys found this video helpful if you did please leave a like consider subscribing for more videos i'll be leaving the command panels wiki and discord in the description if you guys have any questions you can hop in there ask questions we will answer whenever we can you can also ask in the comments and i'll get back to you whenever i can there's also plenty of free panels on the website to download so if you'd like to download any of those you can use them change them do whatever you want they're completely free hopefully you all are having a great day and i'll see you in the next one